Guardians of the Galaxy Part 2. Alright, Galaxy Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is starring Chris Pratt, Zoe Saldana, Dave Bautista, Bradley Cooper, and Vin Diesel coming back as Groot. Now, I loved the first movie. The second movie is right after that. It consists of, they're now the Guardians of the Galaxy. They're known as this around the galaxy, and they're helping this group of people with a interdimensional being or interdimensional beast that's trying to harvest their batteries. So they're like, hey, we'll stop them because we're the Guardians of the Galaxy. Cool. Well, Rocket then steals some batteries and they get saved by his dad. And that's literally the first 10 minutes of the movie. I'm not going to tell you anything else after that because the rest of it is a roller coaster. Now, you're probably hearing a lot of critics reviews and a lot of people reviewing about the movie crapping on it, saying that it wasn't good and how they didn't like it and all that different stuff. Now, I will tell you the things that I didn't like about the movie. First 30 minutes of the movie were very slow for me. They're even with the action scenes and stuff. I don't know. Something about it wasn't... It just disconnected. Maybe it was on the cold medicine that I was on, maybe that was the big disconnect, but Groot was in the shot, the camera, way too much. He was. I didn't, I didn't care. Groot isn't, he, as much as we all know him as Kid Groot, he's small. We don't need to see Kid Groot that much. That was like my biggest pet peeve. I'm like, if you're gonna merchandise, is exactly what you're doing. You're showing us this cute image, so we'll go out and buy the toy. That was the only purpose of little Groot being in the first 30 minutes of the movie. He does have an arc. He does go through stuff as every character does. But the first 30 minutes bothered me. Um, I mean, I really liked the ending. I liked all the characters in it. Other things that I didn't like about it. It was really campy, really cheesy. Um, but it worked within itself, but it was a whole new level of campy. So if you were, they took what you loved in the first one and said, let's multiply that by a two. So if there were things in it that were quirky and you didn't like, then you're not going to like this movie. Okay. Now let's talk about the things I loved about this movie. I loved the visuals. I loved the music. I loved the acting. I loved the character story arc. My goodness. I loved it. It was a roller coaster and I was in there feeling, I mean, I was on a lot of cold medicine watching this film and I still felt the emotion. I still was brought into the film. I still had, when every character went through their own story arc, it was amazing. I really, really appreciated everything in it. I mean, even Rocket. Rocket Rocket was one of those characters that had his own emotional arc, and it really explains why he is the way he is. The one that surprised me the most in this was actually Zondu. Dude, amazing his story arc and how that all worked was really 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 solid there's a lot of controversy in this film if you went in this film thinking it's going to be an action movie that's actually farthest from the truth there are action sequences in this film but it's very much a sci-fi drama it's got its comedy elements but it's not an action flick it, it doesn't feel like an action flick and if you're going in here just to watch people bash heads and stuff that's you're going to be very disappointed because that's not what this film does and i think that's why a lot of people were bagging it as much as it is so now it comes down to the rating for this bad boy i'm going to give it a thumbs up i would give it two but that just the merchandising stunt that they pulled in the first three minutes really pissed me off i'm good but i'm going to give it a thumbs up i really enjoyed this movie this movie has great heart and great elements. The characters that you love get enhanced even more, and they go through a journey. And every character story arc increases Star-Lord, Chris Pratt's character story arc, in such a wonderful way, I couldn't help but smile at the end of this movie and enjoy everything I saw. Now let's talk about the parental rating. It is rated PG-13, and rightfully so. There are some sexual content references throughout this film. There's really not too much language um, that I remember in it. But it's um, Dave Bautista's character, um, Drax the Barbarian. He is very much, or Drax the Destroyer, he's very much a very blunt person. And he starts talking about sexual things in a very blunt way. So, I mean, parents, if you're a kid, if you haven't talked to a kid about that stuff, there's going to be a lot of bluntness in this. But it's not graphic. It's just blunt. So, I mean, ultimately, if your kid's 10, I don't see this being an issue for him to watch it. It was really, really fun and really, really enjoyable. So that's my review for Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. So go ahead and just throw it down in the comments below and let me know. Um, if you're liking what you hear, hit the like button and subscribe would be awesome. Um, yeah, and in the end of the day, I really, really liked Guardians of the Galaxy.